Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today's video will be different from the usual, as I'm not uploading Kentori Dreams, but rather I'm uploading a tutorial, as you might have seen in the thumbnail and the title. Today's tutorial will be all about how to install KSRSS, which is the acronym for Kerbal Scale Real Solar System. This is a lovely mod I play with a lot because it, is, because it is very, very, very fun to play with. It is a kerbalized scaling of, of RSS. So for all my RSS players um, that love RSS, now you've got finally a, you've finally got a way of playing RSS that doesn't take like, 20 minutes on loading because of RO and RP1 and all of those mods. Um, R KSRSS is also a very detailed mod and there aren't very many tutorials for KSRSS on YouTube or anywhere really. There's only one tutorial that I know of which is a bit outdated and in French. So today I'm going to give you the updated tutorial on how to install KSRSS and a few nice visual mods to go along with it, if so you desire. So, let's get right into it. So KSRSS has a unique feature, which can sometimes put people off actually downloading the mod. As I'm about to show you, Um, the forum page actually has no download button. Look, if I scroll all the way down, on installation and download, it just says soon. Now that actually isn't really, isn't really true. Because if you go right down to license and legal stuff and press on the source code, you get transported to this place, GitLab, GitLab, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So, you'll be transported to this page. This is the Mega Pack version of KSRSS, which isn't the one that you want. This is just a different branch of it. What you actually need to go to is Reborn, not Mega Pack, not Master, not Archi Archive 8 Bit, but Reborn. And on this page, you can actually download the mod. KSRSS doesn't actually need Chronometer and Custom Barn Kit as a de as a dependency. Um, you can play them with them if you want um i sometimes did but you know i just they're not essential so i don't usually play with these so, so, but i do suggest if you're playing career mode to play contract configurator which is a bit better um but which basically makes it so that you can actually play a sensical career mode so if you want to install the mod directly, just go to download. And if you want to hear the stuff that comes uh, comes afterwards, um, you know, stick around. The links to all of these far pages will be in my video description. So if you want to download this mod, press this download button at the top and press download source code in zip form. And that, will allow you to download the mod. Um, once you've done that, simply extract the KSRSS folder into your game data folder of choice. Um, and if you particularly want to, um, go on KSRSS 64K and go in this folder and then get out um, text and, and then unzip all of these into the um, 
into your KSRSS textures folder. As it says here, if you want clouds and visual stuff, you need to install Scatterer and Eve. But then again, who's playing KSP right now without, um, without Eve? Um, and for those of us like me with a, with a um, volumetric clouds mod by Blackrack, simply find Atmospheric Beats' um, config on the KSP forums. And that should be everything. So, once you've done that, you should be able to play KSRSS. However, if you're like me, with a fairly good computer, and you play KSP, you're probably also playing it with Parallax. However, as it says here, um, it says configs for, for all of these and Parallax are included in KSRSS. Which means that when you install Parallax, this is my game data, which has KSRSS, um, you need to make changes to this folder, Parallax Stock, text stock Textures. When you open it and delete a file at the very top called underscore configs, which is something I've already done, as you can see here. Without having done this, it will cause a fatal error loading KSRSS, resulting in one of two things, either your game loading and every single texture being black, um, or your game just being stuck on the loading screen before the main menu. If you've done all of these steps, congratulations. It's time for you to play KSRSS. I'm now going to switch to um, KSP and show you guys a bit of what KSRSS looks like. There you are. So this is what KSRSS looks like if you, like me, decide to play KSRSS with your space center based in Karoo. Um, personally, it's my favorite place because it is closest to the equator. Uh, I think it's the closest launch site anywhere close, closest to the equator. Um, because most bodies in KSRSS um, are close to the equator. Minimal plane change. But if you're also like me and you've decided to use um, to use um, KSC Switcher, there are, just like RSS, configs for that too. So if we zoom out here, we've got actually a setup, as you might guess, extremely similar to RSS. Um, you know, you got all your classics, you got the Mars, you got the Venus, you got the Mercury, you've got the Rugu, you've got the Eros, you got the you got the C Vesta, you got the Ceres, you got all of your favorite places, you got the Jupiter, you got the Saturn, you got the Uranus, and you've got the Neptune. And as a nice little addition, I think Halley, uh, the comet, um, which looks like this, which is kind of cool. Um, these are the direct features of um, KSRSS. Um, it also nicely includes Pluto and I think also Sharon. Uh, if I just check. Ooh, yes, it sure does. Um, <clears throat> but KSRSS itself supports a bunch of visual mods um, with, it, with the right configs, so obviously. <clears throat> just like my favorite visual mod of all time, um, Eve Volumetric Clouds. So, I'm now going to show you the view from the 
space sa station I just assembled in orbit uh, and I just flew a little craft to in the time lapse at the f at in at the start of the video. If uh, there we are, it's just loaded. A ah, funny glitch with free IVA giving me the IVA even though it's not here. So this is what it looks like. So there's a bit of volumetrics loaded in and a bit of just 2D clouds loaded in because it's actually quite high above the surface, the um, orbit, you know, your minimum orbit is actually quite high above the surface. So um, I'm not going to go into depth about the space station. I think you can probably figure it out for yourself. It is a very, um, personally, I think it's a very nice space station. Um, but to really show you all of the features of KSRSS, I'm going to bring the little thing I made down from this space station. I assume they've done whatever they wanted to do on the space station. And now it's time to move off. Just press N on the keyboard, move ourselves away using our thrusters. And big, big solar panels. I think it's a very nice space station, actually. So once we're in a good we're with we're within a good distance. We're going to fire ourselves retrograde and get ready to burn home. Um, I would like to land personally in the Africa. In Af I don't say in the Africa. It does actually take a little while for. Uh, oh wait, that's because my thrust limiter's down. Um, And well, look, would you look at that? We're just like, we're just lowering our speed down enough so that we get a good trajectory into the ground. Just how we like it. Um, so, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And once we lower our altitude, we'll start to see the volumetrics coming in, which it looks like is about to happen soon. If you have a high time warp, the volumetrics always glitch out a bit. Um, we're going to separate our capsule. I've got quite a few nice mods. One mod I'd very much recommend, even if you're not playing KSRSS, just completely off topic, is a mod called mod called um I think it's called more docking ports or extra docking ports, and this adds the holy ability for parachutes inside docking ports the most the thing that ksp needs the most in a nice 1.25 meter form factor so i think it looks rather nice as well so as you can see we're re-entering and the volumetrics start to appear um more and more and more opaque um as we slowly descend down into um, into the atmosphere, getting lower and lower. It is quite a long re-entry, but not as long as RSS, of course, it being smaller than RSS. Your orbital speed is also um, drastically different. It's got much higher orbital speed than the Kerbin, with an orbital speed similar to that of EVE. Um, you've got a fairly high Ascension Delta V cost, um, but as you can see, I'm in pretty, in not long, I'm going to lower my time warp setting. In fact, that's what I'm going to do just now so that you'll get a really good view of all of the volumetrics as we come down. And pretty soon, I think you're also going to be able to view Parallax coming in. Um, will you be able to see it offshore, though? I don't know. Um, but this is certainly quite a nice way of landing. There aren't very many trees, but I guess just some palms around the coast. Looks nice. 
Um, probably the ground scatter will start to load in in not long. And looks like the parachutes have also deployed. So, as you can see, there is configs for parallax in this um, lovely mod. And we've just splashed down. How beautiful. Of course, with Scatterer, the ocean looks majestic and beautiful. So, um, that you can also install some special, like, Space Center configs. I think, like, Tundra Space Center. In fact, I believe you can even get Katniss KSC to work. In fact, I think Katniss KSC works as default um, with KSRSS. But... I think that will end my tutorial, because really, what else have I got to say? So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this has been as useful as possible, and goodbye. See you in the next episode of Kintori Dreams.